Hi, this is Ryan Alexander with Denison Yachting bringing you another walkthrough. Today we are in Stewart, Florida where I'm going to be taking you through the Princess V52. This was made in 2015 and the boat has a lot of awesome features and a lot to offer her new owner. So this boat is centrally listed with one of our brokers, Brian Ragsdale, in our Palm Beach offices. He works alongside Mike Burke who heads up that office. Brian is the perfect guy to sell this boat and there are a few reasons why. The first is that he sold several of these princesses before, so he knows them inside and out. The other is that he spent several years selling new build Sunseekers, so he understands the British market really well. So as we race the sunset, before we get started, I want to point out two things that I love about this boat. The first is her speed, which is a huge reason that people buy this boat. With a true cruise of 30 knots and a top speed of 38 knots, she can get you where you need to go in a flash. The other thing that I absolutely love about this boat is the salon, which is flooded with all this natural light that's coming in through the large aft doors, through the panoramic side windows, as well as through a large overhead sunroof. This boat is really fast, looks incredible, and is a ton of fun. I'm beyond excited to show you how she performs when she's underway. So if you own a boat like this, chances are you didn't buy this boat to spend time in the slip, you want to be out there on the water. So that's why we're going to start today's walkthrough here on the hydraulic swim platform. Not only is it a great height for stepping on and off the dock, but additionally, the platform is hydraulic, which eliminates any excuse for not spending time in the water. When you aren't using it as a teak beach, there are these removable chocks for storing your tender. Forward on the port side are hookups for shore power, as well as coaxial cable for TV and phone. On the opposite side by the stairs is a shower. Continuing forward, we take three steps up into the cockpit. With U-shaped seating on the port side and an expandable high-low table, the aft deck is a well-equipped mezzanine for when you're in between the water and the interior. Below this portion of the aft seating is a lazarette which is integrated into the transom. Now facing the starboard side, we see a wet bar with a sink, a grill, and a top-loading cold box. The cockpit is fully equipped with a powerful fusion stereo system in addition to all of the other amenities that make this boat perfect for entertaining year-round. The engine room hatch is located in the center of the cockpit, flush mounted in the teak sole. This captain-maintained engine room is a big reason for Princess's success in this size range. She's propelled by a pair of CAT C12 engines that generate 715 horsepower. These engines are all up to date on their service, which helps ensure maximum performance, which is what this boat is all about. As I mentioned previously, she has a remarkably fast cruise of 30 knots at 2150 RPMs while burning under 60 gallons per hour. By any standards, this is an impressive number. When she's at top speed, she powers through the water at 36 knots, burning roughly 68 gallons per hour. Having just received new bottom paint, her performance is as impressive as ever. Another essential feature of note is her 13 kilowatt Cummins Onan generator. With side decks running along both sides of the salon, this 52 makes it possible for guests to move fore and aft easily. The benefit of this is that when you're at anchor, it helps avoid traffic jams when making full use of the boat. Assuring safety is an encompassing bow rail which is just above knee height on any guest as long as that guest doesn't play in the NBA. Centerline we have a large sun pad flanked by grab rails. Forward of this pad is a skylight and escape hatch which is just above the VIP. Even further forward is a Lumar windlass which is hidden below this hatch. There's also storage for fenders below. Having covered the majority of the exterior features, let's jump inside and have a look at the salon. One of the things to love are these salon aft doors that both slide over, creating one large space between the salon and the aft deck. The most comfortable seating area on board is the U-shaped dinette on the port side. The walnut table surrounded by this seating can easily accommodate the four guests that this boat sleeps. One thing that doesn't translate on camera, obviously, is that this salon gets ice cold. Across from the dinette is a high-low TV with storage and a fridge below. 
Additionally, there's an ice maker. The teak flooring found in the salon was just completely stripped and refinished and makes this space shine. Just forward on the port side is the helm, which is more than capable and well laid out. There are a pair of black leather helm seats that are just an arm's reach away from the ship's controls. On the port side of the helm is a Garmin 8212 display, reading off crucial data for chart plotting via the ship's GPS. To the left of the wheel is the first of two cat engine displays, your bow and stern thrusters, with electrical switches just below. Outboard on the starboard side, we have the stop-start controls for the engine, your cat engine throttles, your trim tabs, as well as a VHF radio. Now we're gonna head down below deck where we arrive at the galley and the lower salon. Immediately to port is the galley, which is flooded by light from the windshield just above. Forward is the cooktop with a microwave convection oven below, and aft is an over-under fridge freezer. Facing the starboard side, we see the lower living area with an L-shaped couch. On the aft bulkhead is the TV. Right next to the TV is the ship's main breaker panel, which is hidden behind a cabinet face. Now facing aft, follow me into the master. Like the rest of the boat, this full beam master is finished with satin walnut. On both sides of the berth are large windows just above the waterline, as well as storage. To port, we can see the ensuite, which has a glass shower stall. Our final stop is forward in the bow, which is the VIP. This guest suite has an ensuite and is where we wrap up today's walkthrough. There's something special about seeing this boat underway because she really is the total package in this size range. This is the kind of boat that proves that on a windy and cloudy overcast day, you can still have an exhilarating time on the water. On behalf of the entire Denison team, Brian Ragsdale and myself, thank you for joining us on today's walkthrough of the Princess V52. We hope you liked what you saw. If you'd like to see her in person or want any more information on this boat, we'd love to set it up for you so you can reach out to Brian at any time.